Hello everyone and welcome to Rocky. I heard about this game a couple years ago, I remember seeing trailers for it, I can't remember where exactly, but the game piqued my interest. It's uh, based off of Scandinavian folklore, which I am not at all familiar with, but I do like folklore, so that was the main reason why I wanted to play this game. Other than that, it looks really cute, it's an adventure game, so I'm not quite sure what to expect in terms of mechanics, I don't know if it's going to be like a point and click adventure game, or like a puzzle platformer, or a game that, you know, your choices matter. I have no idea, but I am curious to see what the mechanics are going to be like and what the story is going to be like as well. I've also heard this game is a bit more laid back and relaxed, so hopefully everyone's on board for that because I've been playing uh, some more fast-paced games as of late on the channel, so I kind of wanted to do something a bit more chill. So, you know, I just thought this would be a nice, fun little journey to go on. But we are going to do a few videos of this, see how it goes, see what everyone thinks, and uh, figure out where to go from there. And I think that's everything I want to say. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. Ooh, is it movie time? We're going into cinema mode. Should I have brought popcorn? Lars. I take it that's Lars over there. Hopping around in the wet snow. Lars. Lars, come on, you're gonna catch a cold. Maybe. Oh, Lars. <laughs> oh, Lars. Just so exasperated. Uve? That's our name. Don't wear it out. I think that's how you pronounce it. That's how they pronounce it in the trailer, so I'm gonna assume it's Tuve. What's up, goofball? <laughs> what were you doing over there? There was a Noak and Water Sprite, and a Croaky Toad, and a... <laughs> I'm sure, and now it's time to go home, Tiny Tonte. <laughs> no. What do you mean, no? I'm not asking, I'm telling you. It's time to go home. Ooh, which way is home? Definitely not that way. Got it. <laughs> the game just made me do an immediate U-turn. I don't think I meant to go that way. Yeah, no. I was just making sure Lars was paying attention. Why don't you take the lead? Because I know where home is, but at the same time, you seem to have a better idea of where to go. Oh, no, you don't. Lars. <laughs> Lars. I love how exasperated she sounds. Every time. He runs ahead of you every time? I guess he's a tonte on a mission. Okay. What does that mean, by the way? <laughs> like, it was capitalized, so I'm assuming it's like a nickname or something. But sadly, I am not too familiar with uh, Scandinavian languages, so I have no idea what tonte means. Like, I'm assuming it's like goofball or something. I don't know. Where have you run off to now? Uh -huh. Can't we walk for a change? Apparently not. He only knows one speed, and it's fast. Okay. Okay, can I not go that way? Nope. Okay. Move towards the objects and interact with them using A. Oh. Am I supposed to interact with the very obvious statue? Probably. There we go. Oh, I see. We're playing a game. <laughs> Aw. Hide and seek, is it? He's very good at hiding. If only he was better at stifling his giggles. I mean, I get it, I've been there. Cute for a monster. At least, I think it's a monster. Mama, Mama would know its name. <sighs> He's my new monster best friend. Keep away, stinky sister. Hey. <laughs> oh? We'll see about that. Who are you calling stinky? Do we not pass the sniff <laughs> test? Maybe I can find something to make him come out. Maybe. Do you have any snacks? That would make me come out of my hidey hole. <laughs> okay. Can we head back this way? Nope. Escape? Not likely. It's time to go home. Can we check behind the statue? Nope. I heard this creature is from an ancient local legend. Okay. Kind of looks like Trico from uh, The Last Guardian. Is he like inside the statue or is he behind the statue? Because that would be pretty impressive if he could climb inside the statue. Okay, but we can't go behind it, so I'm assuming he's probably behind it. What is that? Are those snowballs? Yeah, snowballs. Okay. 
If all else fails, snowball fights won't. Snowball fights and food fights are two surefire ways to get anyone involved. Uh, hold an item and drag and drop it onto something. Like this? There we go. <laughs> you asked for this, Lars. Whoa, that was a cool trick. Most people can pull coins out from behind their ear. Apparently Tuve can pull an entire snowball out from behind her ear. She must have very big ears. <laughs> Did we scare ya? Ha! Tuve the monster slayer. No, he looks so scared. You made him sad. Say sorry. Ugh. Beklager monster. Now can we go? I'm hungry. Hmm. I want to play monsters. Well, I want to eat. Maybe I'll eat you. <laughs> oh, Tuve monster. <laughs> Better run, little Tomte. I really want to know what that means. I'm going to have to look that up after I'm done recording. Press X to open Tuve's journal. Out all day playing in the snow by the lake, Lars said he saw some magic creatures in the water. His ideal pet would be a troll or a monster. Maybe he really does see them. Who knows? I really have to get us home, though, so I can make dinner. Might have to use some snowballs to get him moving. Okay. So we have our map, we have our notes, we have our loot, and we have our badges. And the map just heads back to the notes. Okay. Looks good. Okay. So can I grab the other snowball? Nope. Can I interact with the statue again? Nope. Okay. We should probably go then. Catch up to Tiny Tonte before he gets too far ahead. Okay. Oh, there you are. You waited for us. Thank you. It's a nice change of pace. Quick, a troll is under the bridge. Run, Tuve. I really think he sees them sometimes. Maybe. Nah, that was cute. Better not let him get too far ahead. Yeah, it's probably for the best we keep up with them. If there is a troll under that bridge, they are very good at hiding. Got some sharp eyes, Lars. Aw, oh, what's wrong? What happened? What's on the ground? What is it? Are you hurt? Is it gonna be a dead animal? I don't know how dark this game gets, so I'm a little worried it's gonna be a dead animal. It's gonna be some ominous foreshadowing. Oh, you just dropped your toy. Again. Hmm, I should probably take a look at it. Aw, oh, it's cute. Okay. Tap A to examine. Mr. Jotun is missing an eye this time. It's going to need emergency reattachment. Okay. Well, let's head inside and see if we can find some needle and thread. What's wrong? Mr. Jotun is broken. Okay. We'll do our best to fix him. Made it home after fighting off a monster. It didn't put up much of a fight, though. Lars has dropped Mr. Jotun again. I don't know how many times I have to fix him. Nothing makes Lars as happy as Mr. Jotun, though. And I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Like, I'm pretty sure an O with an umlaut over it is more of like an U sound. So it's like Jotun or Shoki. I'm not quite sure, though. Okay, look at the little snowman. Oh, they look a little wink wonky. Can we fix them? Oh, Mr. Snoogub, you've seen better days, huh? Or it'd be Snoogub. Okay. I'm also curious what language this is. Because, like, I know Scandinavian countries are like Sweden, Finland, Denmark, maybe Iceland, don't quote me on that. <laughs> and Norway. Um, but I'm not familiar with any of the languages. So I wonder which one it is. Papa's car. I don't think he's used it since back then. It looks like it. It literally has grass and flowers growing on it. Okay. So when was back then then? Why does Papa keep all this stuff? He didn't keep her stuff. Oh no. That sounds like something a child who has lost a very important parent would say. Okay. A significant parental figure in their life. Some glue. Once I got my fingers stuck together for an hour with this. 
An hour, you say? That's a long time to have your fingers stuck together. Then again, when I was a kid, I was easily entertained. <laughs> I would like, you know, get my fingers stuck in those like Chinese finger traps for like a couple hours. That's all I needed. Okay, um, so we have some glue now. Can I use the glue? Uh, I don't know if I want to try this. I guess it'll tell me if it's wrong. Yes. Oh. Okay. I thought we were gonna use needle and thread, but glue works too. Okay. I feel like, uh, needle and thread would be a bit more substantial. But still, you work with what you got. I wonder if it's all still down there. If what all is still down there? Water, I hope? I hope you just mean water. She sounded a little concerned or a little upset when she said that. So now I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared of what happened down there. One day we'll get a toilet inside the house, Papa says. You only have an outhouse? You don't have a bathroom in your house? That sucks. Especially in weather like this. Like what if you gotta, you know, go late at night? That's gotta suck, man. Here lies Shelly and Stoker. The best cat and bird the world has ever known. Aww. Sounds like a pretty good duo. So long as they're not left alone with each other. <laughs> okay. Is that everything? I think that's everything. Looked at the tombstones, looked at the outhouse, looked at the well. I think we got everything over here. Okay. Are you ready to go in, little buddy? You ready to go inside yet? No, not until Mr. Jotun is feeling better. Okay, well we fixed him. Oh. Do I have to like drag and drop it? Probably. Woohoo! Woo that was cute. How many times have I fixed you now, Mr. Jotun? Here. Please stop dropping him. <laughs> I promise. Mr. Jotun says thank you to Tuve. Talk, Tuve. You can be my friend now. Okay. Well, we did it. Wait, we weren't friends from the other, like, you know, handful of times that we fixed Mr. Jotun? It sounds like a common occurrence. So I guess however many times it's happened now, that's the that's the magic number that you have to hit in order to be friends with Mr. Jotun. Papa, I wonder if you're still dreaming of Mama. He certainly seems out for the count. What will we have for dinner, Lars? No response from Lars, okay. I guess that's better than him being like, Chinese! And then it's like, well, I mean, you know, we're not exactly close. <laughs> okay, click the left stick in to flash the objects you can interact with. Oh, that's cool, I like that. As someone who constantly questions what I can and can't interact with in games, I like that. This stuff stinks, why do we keep it in the house? What is it? Fertilizer? Probably. Okay. You can interact with the chessboard? Can we play some chess? Hmm. Should I let Lars win this time? Hmm, I don't know. How often do you let him win? Like, it's important to let him win sometimes so he doesn't get very discouraged. But at the same time, if you let him win all the time, he'll never learn. Poor Mr. Jotun. One day he's really going to lose you. So long as it's in the house. <laughs> so long as, you know, he drops Mr. Jotun in the house and not outside. I feel like it'd be a bit trickier to keep track of, you know, out in the open wild as compared to if she, you know, he just accidentally drops him on the ground here. Almost as much dust on it as a blanket. Oh, Papa. What does that mean? There's dust on the blanket, I'm assuming? But why does it say almost as much dust on it as a blanket? I don't know. I'm just going to assume they mean to say that there's a lot of dust on the blanket. Okay. Can I interact with the window? It's real window weather. It does look cold outside, but also very scenic. Very pretty. Okay. What's this? Pickled herring. Papa's favorite. I take it it's an acquired taste. It certainly sounds like something that is an acquired taste. Papa? Papa? Huh? I hope you're having nice dreams, Papa. 
He's certainly a heavy sleeper. Like, you know, I, I definitely like rocking chairs, you know? Like, when I eventually have a place of my own, I would like to just have a, a rocking chair to sleep in. At the same time, though, I feel like I would be terrified to fall asleep in it because I feel like I would just fall out, you know? Like, I would start rocking a little too heavily and i just fall face first off of the chair. But still, he seems like a pretty solid sleeper, so I guess he doesn't mind. What are you doing, goofball? Can I talk to you? Twang, twang, twack. Very good. That is the sound that a bow and arrow makes. Okay, so. Can interact with whatever's over here. Oops. Forgot the washing up. Maybe we should eat out of the pan. Sounds like fun. Depending on what you're making. I definitely do that sometimes, especially when it's, you know, food for one. <laughs> I just eat straight out of the pan. What's this? Eggs? Looks like it's eggs. Again. Okay. Do we need a bowl for the eggs? Maybe make some scrambled eggs? This bowl will do. Okay, is there anything else we can interact with? We can interact with the stove? Our cooker. It's the only hob that works. Okay, can we grab the skillet? Oh, there's a mouse! Or at least a mouse hole. I wonder if there's still a mouse. Yeah! Maybe there's a mouse in the house. That could be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on who you are. I would be excited. Okay. My favorite pan. The frying pan. It's a good pan to go with. Okay. Home at last. Papa is still asleep. Probably dreaming about Mama. He talks about her in his sleep sometimes. Poor Papa. I'll leave him some dinner. There's gotta be something to eat here. I hope. Well, we have some eggs, so that's something. Okay. So, let's go ahead and put the eggs in the bowl. We'll go ahead and put the eggs in the pan. Oh, we need to heat the pan on the stove first. Okay, well, I mean, six to one, half dozen to the other. So long as we get the, the eggs in the pan eventually, I guess. That works too. This should heat up in no time. Okay. Can I put the eggs in now? Maybe? There we go. Accidentally put Mr. Giotan in there. Whoops, I guess we're having fried Giotan for dinner. Can you eat too many eggs? Maybe. I don't know. I don't like eggs. Whoa, hey, that was close. We almost had eggs and arrows for dinner. Lars, shoot that again, and I'm giving your dinner to the ravens. Sit down. It's almost ready. He must have taken that seriously. He looked a little nervous there. <laughs> eggs again. Tuve. They'll make you big and strong. I want pancakes. Yo, same. I mean, I'm not really helping here, but same. It's eggs. Or maybe I can find you some of Papa's pickled herrings. Ugh, eggs. If you eat it all, maybe you'll become a giant like Mr. Jotun. Maybe. That'd be quite the growth spurt. How old are they, by the by? Like, Tuve, I'm, I'm assuming she's in her teens. But it seems like uh, Lars is still pretty young. Bedtime, tiny tonte. But I'm not tired. Let me stay up with you. Go on. I'll be up in a minute. We can start a new book. I just need to fix the fire. Thank you. Well, at least he listens when he wants to. He has selective hearing, I guess. Okay. Oh, do you want Mr. Jotun? Here. Wait. No, take him with you. Ah, uh, criminy. Okay. We'll hold on to him. I guess we'll uh, give it to him when we get upstairs. Okay. Good dry firewood. Gotta keep warm. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and put the firewood on the heater, I guess. There we go. I keep forgetting I can just automatically use an item on an object and I don't have to interact with the object first. I have to keep reminding myself that. It's a good fire. It'll keep Papa cozy. Yeah. He looks pretty content. Papa. Hey, Papa. Hmm. Oh, how was your day, Tuve? Hmm. Good, Papa. I slayed a monster and escaped a troll. Aww. 
Must be real tuckered out from work. It looks like he's working hard. Okay. Eva? No, Papa. It's just me, Tuve. Oh, Tuve. You made dinner. Yes, Papa. I left some for you. You're a good girl. Don't stay up late. Papa? I won't. Papa? Aww. Aww. Back to sleepy time junction he goes. Hopefully we'll be there soon too. We can meet up with him. Okay. What are you doing jumping on the bed? Can I join in? Uh... Time to sleep, little Tonte. Uh... It's still light. It'll get dark soon, especially when you close your eyes. And then it gets like super dark. It's almost scaly. Okay. Is there anything we can interact with up here? I'm trying to remind myself to click the stick in, you know, so I don't forget. So then, you know, eventually once we get into the game, if I get stuck, I'll remember. I can just do that. Okay. What's this? These leaks are getting worse. Maybe they have books on plumbing at the library. Maybe. That would be useful. My beloved horror novels. Not so good as bedtime stories, though. Says you. <laughs> I would love if someone would read me a horror novel for bedtime. Okay. Then again, I'm much older than Lars and much harder to scare, I guess. So that does make a difference. Tales of the Forest. This used to be mine. I take it it's Lars now. It belongs to the tiny Tonte. Okay. Can interact with the window? Aha! It's dark now. Go to sleep. <laughs> Okay. We'll read him a bedtime story. Why not? If that is an opportunity that we get. Lars is always drawing creatures from his favorite fairy tales. He's actually really good. It looks like it. Based off the drawings on the walls. Quite the talent. This is what counts for privacy around here. Okay. I already looked at that stuff. So... I guess maybe we'll try to get you to go to bed now. Go to sleep, Lars. I need Mr. Jotun. Uh, of course you do, I forgot. Here you go. You dropped him again. Next time, I'm not picking him up. Sleep, Lars. Now. Tell me a story about Mama. I'm too tired, Lars. Can we just read one? You always say that. To be fair, she does seem pretty tired. Okay. So can we use the book on Lars? Out of context, that sounds concerning. So don't take it out of context. Yeah, there we go. Okay, little Tomte. Story time. Ah, that's convenient. Nice little spot to sit. Do we all get story time? How about Yuntar and the baby? Yeah, yeah! That was Mama's favorite, too. She always said it was true, but that makes no sense. Read. Okay, okay. Here we go. Still jumping on that bed, man. That's impressive. Yeah, we get story time! Oh, I'm reading. Okay. Four giant guardians there were in days of yore. These Jontar guarded the ancient forest and its lore. Hmm. Patient Jotunborn, coat as brown as the dying leaves. Whoa. Proud Jotunhort, antlers held high in the summer breeze. <laughs> Playful Jotunulfer, who roamed wide over the spring's new growth. And cunning Jotun Raven, guardian of the winter and knowledge both. As the wheels of ages turned, humans ventured into the guardian's realm. One stood most tall and fair as he felled trunks of pine and elm. Jotun Raven was besotted and cast herself in human form. 
Before long they wed. Winter's once ruler's heart grew warm. She called herself Roca and took with child. But half human only, he was fey and wild. Her fellow guardians were horrified, so banished mother and son. To another realm, though it took all her strength, the deed was done. And there, Roca plots a way for her child to return. Watching our world through eyes of raven, still she yearns. Oh, we're blinking. I was like, what is with the weird, like, you know, transitions? <laughs> okay. Ugh, I think it's even made me a bit sleepy. Can't keep my eyes. <sighs> Aww. I'll tuck it out from playing all day. Oh, that was so cute. Do you gotta go to the bathroom? Tuve? Tuve. Tuve. There's an echo in here. <laughs> ah, there she goes. <sighs> I must have read myself to sleep. What time is it? Need to wee, Tuve. Wee. <laughs> it's really cold. Make sure you wrap up. But you said to never go out alone. Ugh, I did say that. Clothes and shoes on, quick. No toys. Can I bring my marbles? No, I mean it. All of your pockets are ripped from marbles. Why would you even need marbles to go to the bathroom? I guess if you get bored. Come on, let's go, go, go. Go, go, Gadget Lars! And Tuve! Yeah. Okay. Someone really needs to go, huh? Seems like it. Okay. Wait, I can interact with stuff up here? I kinda wanna interact with stuff real quick. Just real quick. I wanna look at the photo. All of us. Though Lars wasn't ready to come out yet. Aww. Must have been a long time ago then. Okay. What's this? Our old trunk. Maybe one day we could go traveling. That sounds like fun. Please bring me with, because I would love to go traveling as well. Lars's fairy tale creatures almost look alive at night. Okay. A little ominous, but also kind of cool. Papa used to be so good at making these. Are they little origami figures? Looks like it. Okay. I like the wolf the best. Just like Mama. Okay, we should probably head downstairs. I don't think Lars would leave without us. He seems a little scared, but still. It seems like he's really gotta go. The fire is getting low again. I should top it up. Okay, let's do that real quick. I know, you gotta go. I'm putting some hustle behind the muscle. Okay, go in. Pop some wood into the fire. Can I interact with the deer skull? There, all toasty again. Oh, I can. I always found this thing a little creepy. Same. I used to pet sit for someone who had a, like, you know, a mounted deer head on their wall. And it always freaked me out. I always felt like it was just staring at me, judgingly. Papa? Papa, are you still sleeping? Hmm. At least you look peaceful. Yeah, I wish I was that graceful of a sleeper. All right, you ready, buddy? Let's head out. Hmm. Come on, Tani Tomte. Hmm. I'm not a Tomte. Uh -huh. But a Tomte is tiny and plays tricks and helps with the housework. Hmm. Maybe you're right. When has he helped with the housework? <laughs> so far he's just been causing chaos. Why the Dutch angle? Ravens, what are they doing here? Oh, that is a lot of ravens. I was like, there were ravens here earlier. What do you call so many ravens? Tuve. 
Tuve, I need to go now. Okay. Wait here. I'll be quick. I'm not going with them watching. Okay. So we need to do something about the ravens? Oh, I was about to say, I was told there was new writing. I wanted to read what was in the notes, and there was nothing there for a second. Made it home after... Oh, we already read that. Update. It's eerie out tonight. I don't think I have ever seen so many ravens. Something strange is going on. It's like we stepped into a fairy tale. And something is watching. I bet I'll feel silly for writing that. Well, I mean, the ravens are watching, so you're not wrong. I don't know what you call so many ravens, though. Ah! I can just scare them off by running towards them. That works. There we go. No, oh, that's it. I thought I had to clear them all out. The path is clear, Tiny Tomte. Okay. Like, I know a group of crows is called, like, a murder of crows, but I don't know what you call a group of ravens. A cackle of ravens? That doesn't sound right. Oh, they're guarding the toilet. I can't go with them on top. Lars, they're just birds, okay? Watch. I'll show him who's boss. Okay. Can we knock on the... What? <laughs> it just suddenly stopped. Look at them just sitting there, judging. Uh... And preventing Lars from peeing. Truly, that is the worst crime. A very heinous crime. Most heinous. Can I not, like, knock on the side of the outhouse or something to scare them? They don't seem to be budging. I can't go behind the outhouse. Okay. So how are we going to do this? How do you want to do this? I don't think the tombstones are going to help. Um, Are there like rocks or something nearby? Not to hit them with. Just to scare them off. Maybe. Oh no, the snowman. They're looking even more sad. Even more wink wonky. Oh dear, you really do need fixing, huh, Mr. Snowgoob? Or Snoogoob? Still not quite sure how to pronounce that. Okay. I was hoping maybe I could use the carrot, you know, to draw them away. Maybe they would want to eat the carrot. Or maybe I could use the sticks, but apparently not. Okay. Nothing in here to hurry Lars up. So what are we supposed to do then? How do we get rid of the ravens? What's this? The pattern on this dried out moth looks like a crow. That's going straight into the journal. Okay. Wait, it looked like a crow? Oh, I see. An unusual moth. You don't say. It's a cool pattern. I definitely see the crow. Okay. I'm still not quite sure what to do though. I've been scouring all around the place and I don't really see anything we could use to scare away the ravens. They seem pretty steadfast in where they're staying. What'd we find? Pebbles! Perfect. Okay. Cool. So, go ahead and use the pebbles. Throw them up on the roof, maybe? It's a really neat trick that you can just pull this stuff out from behind your ear. Sorry, birds. It's Lars's time to use the outhouse. Okay, all gone. Go pee. There we go. Safe and sound. You better be quick, Lars. It's freezing out here. Tuve? What was that? What was what? I don't know. A tree falling, maybe? Okay, well that answers- ah. Uh, the riddle of, you know, can you hear a tree fall in the woods? The answer is yes. Maybe it's a monster. Monsters aren't real, Lars. Nothing here but me and the pile of my frozen toes. Ooh, <laughs> why that phrase? A pile of frozen toes. That does sound a little uncomfortable. Lars, come on. Did you bring your marbles in there even though we said no? Did your bottom freeze in there? Hurry up. I'm scared, Tuve. What if it's a troll? I don't know, but it's making the whole world shake, rattle, and roll. Whatever it is. I don't know what it is, but we're going inside. 
Hey, great timing. Okay, let's head in. Hmm, <laughs> taking care of business. Every day. Every night, in this case. Okay, back inside, where it's safe and warm. We're safe now, I promise. But I'm still scared. I'll protect you. Nothing frightens Tuve, the... Well, I'm not too vain. I'm a little bit scared now. Oh, hey. Okay. That's a big hand. My, what big hands you have. Lars, get back. This is a nightmare. I'm still asleep. Wake up. No, I can't risk it. I've got to get to the ladder. Okay, so what can we interact with? Uh, this? What is it? A chunk of jagged wood from our poor house. Uh, am I supposed to stab the hand with the wood splinter? Give them a splinter? I don't know if I want to get that close to the hand. Yeah, <laughs> I don't like getting this close. Please work, please work. Take this. Be careful. Ooh, good toss. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we're sleeping on the floor tonight. It worked! But our house... I've gotta find a way to get downstairs. Oh, hi. What is that thing? I don't have a gosh dang clue. Oh, okay. Um, well, we can interact with this. What is it? All that's left of the banister. Maybe we can use that to get down. Okay, so how do we get down? <laughs> you okay, Lars? Deep breaths, Lars. <laughs> okay, deep breaths. Don't turn into Luigi. Um, we can use this. Can we use the broken cover? Even less privacy now. Yeah, I feel like that's the least of our concerns right now. Okay. Oh. Can I make like a rope ladder? Or a makeshift rope, I guess? Not a rope ladder. Would it be a rope ladder? I don't know, either way, can we make a rope? Probably. Just tatters. The claws must be sharp. Yeah, it seems like it. I'm kind of scared to look out the window. I don't know what's out there. Not gonna look. Yeah, it's probably for the best. Okay, best not to tempt fate. So we'll connect this. Glad I took that knot tying class. That should do the trick. Okay, so we'll go ahead and connect it to this. Ta-da! That looks sturdy enough, I hope. Only one way to find out. Ta-da! Lars, you first, hurry. Hold on tight. Take your time. <laughs> it's not like we're trying to escape a monster. It's fine. Please don't break. Nah, I'm sure it's fine. Papa, you're still sleeping through all this? I forgot you were down here for a second. Are you okay? Not hurt? We need to get Papa and get out of here. Oh, there it is again. Ugh, oh, what is it? I need something better than a splinter this time. Yeah, that didn't really seem to do the trick for very long, did it? And you're back to waving your hands around. What's this? A bit of cloth. Needing a new home. Okay. And this? My poor little paper wolf. I'll add it to the collection. Okay, I don't know if collecting things is the priority right now. <laughs> uh, okay. So we have cloth and we have a paper wolf. An origami wolf. How do I use those two things? Oh, I only have one thing. What do I do with the cloth? Do you know what to do with the cloth? We're gonna get out of here, Lars. I promise. Okay, Baba, maybe you can wake up and tell me what to do with the cloth? I can't believe he's sleeping through this. Papa, we need you. Wake up! Okay, it looks like it's up to me. Are you serious? Papa. 
Are we just having a bad dream? I'm starting to think maybe we're just having a bad dream. If only there was a good way to get you out of there, Mr. Fire. Do you want me to use the cloth on the fire? I don't know if that's the best idea. That's not going to work by itself. So what am I supposed to do then? Stay far away from the hand, which thankfully is not getting any closer. Can I use like the deer head or something? The deer skull? What's this? Sorry, Papa. I need this. Wait. Are we gonna make a Molotov? Oh, that's so badass. <laughs> I was not expecting to make Molotovs in this game. Never thought I wouldn't be worried about burning the house down. Yeah. That, that, that's fair. <laughs> I don't think anyone ever expects that in life. Just like those movies Papa wouldn't let me watch. Light this end and let it fly. Okay, let's do so quickly before we get burnt. There we go. Gotta get all set up. Here goes. Oh, it's automatic. There we go. Oh, now you're awake. <gasps> no! Papa! Is he okay? Is he alive? Is he breathing? Papa, get up. Come on. Please? No. You can't go too. No. Tuve? Is Papa okay under there? Oh no. Papa? I think he's moving. Tuve, go. Take your brother and go. No, Papa. Your brother for Mama. Remember, Tuve, what she said. No, Papa, please. Help him, Tuve. I can't. It's too hot. I can't get through the fire. Tuve, to the cellar. Go. Now. Oh, Papa. Lars, quickly, you heard what he said. But what about Papa? Papa? He'll get out. He has to. Now go. Oh, Papa. That's so sad. First she lost her mom and now she might lose her dad? I'm surprised he slept through all this. There must be a way out, but I can't see. Huh. Ah, that's better. You don't know anything. Oh no. Oh, hey. Why does- does it have fingernails? Does it have like human fingers? That's freaky. Have to be careful. This way, to the window. From the window to the wall. Okay. No, oh, there's a little robot. The old sled. That's it. We need to sled down and get help for Papa. Poor Papa. I can't reach. There must be a way to get it down. Hey, Tuve. Look, my old Robo Robot. That's a catchy name. I thought Papa threw this out. I love how quickly he calmed down too. You know, like we're just facing a monster, no big deal. And then all of a sudden he's like, hey, my robot. <laughs> Good, play with Robo. He's very brave, he'll protect you. Stay safe while I look for something to help us get out of here. Oh, it still works. Okay. Yeah, do a little dance with Robo. Do the Robo dance. Okay. So we got a bowling ball? Papa's old bowling ball. Oh, Papa. It's okay, we'll find a way to help him. Hopefully. What is all this junk? I don't know, it's your garage. Oh, I can interact with this? Is there something in here we can use? Nothing useful in here. Okay, what else is there? Can interact with the box? Ooh, did we find something? Thin and sharp. A chisel? Might be useful. Might be. Okay. 
Can we use the chisel to cut the ropes so we can just uh, toss the sled down maybe? Hey, it's my old school report. That's going straight into the journal. Okay, sure. <laughs> Von memories, I guess. That's great. We still gotta figure out how to get this uh, sled down. Okay. Is that a flashlight? Can we use that? Yeah. Our old flashlight. We took it camping back then. Nah, no batteries. Maybe there's spares down here somewhere? Maybe. What can we interact on this side? What can we interact with on this side? Can we interact with this? I wonder if any of her things are still down here. Maybe. We'll have to figure out later. <laughs> Let's see what's in here. Empty. Would have been too easy, I suppose. I suppose. It's stuck. Okay, well, guess we can't use whatever's in there. If there's anything in there. Ooh, I found a battery. Okay, go and put that in the old flashlight. There we go. Just needs one more battery. Okay. Is the flashlight for later on in the game, maybe? Maybe. Can interact with the lamp. Another light. I wonder if... Oh, you don't like the light. I see. Stay there, Lars. This could get hairy. Huh. Like a moth to the flame. You are surprisingly calm. <laughs> I would be freaking out. I am kind of freaking out to a degree. Mostly because they have human fingernails. <laughs> why, do, why do they have human fingernails? Is it a giant? Is it a Jotun? Is it Jotun? Okay, that's still stuck. Is there anything else we can interact with over here? I mean, we can interact with all the junk in the garage. But I don't think there's anything that we can actually use to help get the sled down. I think maybe... Can I interact with the lamp again? Can I use the lamppost to tie the chisel to it maybe? I don't know. I feel like we need something to make the chisel longer so we can actually reach the ropes. But I don't know what. So I thought maybe we could tie the chisel, like I said, to the lamp. And use that. But I don't think that's what we're supposed to do. I need help getting that sled. Wait. Oh no. Am I gonna have to use the robot? Does the robot have batteries? Is there anything else I can interact with? Is there like an alternate option? Maybe I can get this drawer open somehow. Maybe it has a battery in it. I'm afraid if we take the battery out of the robot, it's going to upset Lars. And that's going to get us in trouble. Maybe there's a way. Can I use the chisel on the... On the drawer? And get another battery? Maybe. Maybe if I wedge this. There we go. Another battery. Got it. It's a small screwdriver. What? Okay, so we have a chisel. Oh, we don't have a chisel anymore. So we have a screwdriver? How is a screwdriver supposed to help? <laughs> I'm confused. Do I need to... Can I use the screwdriver on the sled? That doesn't seem right. You don't say. I doubt I can use the flashlight on the sled. Ooh, wait. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. I figured it out. I figured it out. Okay. I think if we use the flashlight on the sled, maybe we can get the, the creature to knock it down for us. What is going on outside? Someone's making a ruckus outside. Sorry if you hear that. Um, okay. Am I going to have to take apart the robot? I'm afraid this is going to upset Lars. Please work. Please work. Please work. Please work. Hey. Robo was protecting me. That's right. Robo is going to help us get out of here. A battery. And it's the right size. Sorry, Robo. Sorry, Lars. We need to use this battery. Yes. It's important. I promise. Besides, Tuve will protect Lars. Okay. Nothing scares Tuve. We've learned that much. Give us a hand, whatever you are. 
Or three fingers at the very least. Please? Yeah, definitely doesn't like that. Pretty please? With a cherry on top? Oh, okay, the cherry did it. Talk, monster. Again, very calm <laughs> for someone who's facing down a monster. Please be as fast as I remember. Out we go. Come on, Lars. Are we finally making our way out of here? It's a good thing the monster didn't, you know, chase after us too much. That is a big monster! It's bigger than the house! What the heck is it? We have to go, Lars. What about Papa? He'll find us later. I'll look after you. I promised. I'll look after Mr. Jotun. Good. Don't drop him. Please. We'll all go down the mountain fast. Mr. Jotun would like that. Yeah, so fast we fly. Then hold on tight. No matter what you see, don't let go. We've already seen quite a bit tonight. So I'm sure it'll take quite a bit to surprise him. Oh, hey. Hey, Biggin. How's it going? Oh, you got like a little doggy nose. Oh, and you get even bigger. Oh, okay. And you have some nice sharp teeth to go with that big mouth of yours. Now I know how little Red Riding Hood felt after she saw the wolf. Because, oh, that, that was a big monster. Let's see how fast we can go. Wee! Hold on, Mr. Jotun. I think we're safe for the moment. Don't look back now, Tuve. You guys have to be going pretty fast. Can we go even faster? Yes. Let's make sure that thing can't catch up. You and Mr. Jotun hold on tight. I mean, to be fair, I don't think it was exactly in hot pursuit of us. It seemed pretty preoccupied with destroying the house. So, we should be okay. Poor Papa, though. I really hope he made it out. There's a small chance. That's a big fire. Sorry, not helping. <laughs> it's gonna be okay, Tiny Tante. Come on. Tuve, when will we see Papa again? That's a hard question to answer. Yeah. Just as soon as we can. So let's go get some help, okay? We can cut through the forest and into town. But the forest is scary. Is it scarier than that other thing? I mean, fair point, that was pretty scary. But at the same time, we handled it pretty well. And it depends on what's in the forest. I have no idea what's in these forests. Wolves? Bears? Maybe rabid deer? Can deer get rabies? I don't know. We have to keep going. I'm so tired. Can we sit down? It won't be too long, Tiny Tom Day. It can't be. It might be a bit longer, though, because I am going to leave this episode here. And we got a new badge unlocked. Big Hill. For the big slide we did. It was good sliding. Um, but like I said, I'm going to leave this episode here because this seems like a good place to pause. And I guess in the next episode, we'll continue to make our way through the forest. And hopefully we can make it into town and get some help. I really hope Papa's going to be okay, too. Like, I'm holding out hope that he's going to be okay. Because that would be really sad if they lost both their parents, you know? So I don't think the game is that cruel. So maybe he made it out. Um, maybe one of the times when the giant monster was, you know, slamming its hand into our house. Maybe it, uh, dislodged some of the planks of wood that were holding the Papa down. And he was able to get out. Seems like a big tough guy. So, you know, maybe, possibly, he was able to escape before things got too bad. I guess we'll have to wait and see, though. And like I said, in the next episode, we'll start heading towards town. But for now, I'm gonna leave this episode here. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And of course, I do want to thank you all for watching. And I will see you in our next little adventure. Bye.